It's close to two in the morning in the open sea when the Tunisian Coast Guard spots the first migrant boats. Every night, the Coast Guard stops up to 10 boats trying to cross into Europe clandestinely. Staff try to convince the passengers to get on board, at times resorting to fours as migrants are increasingly unwilling to give up. They're desperate to escape the fallout from President Kais Saied's anti-migrant speech in February. After the president's speech, authorities have cracked down on black migrants and Tunisians employing or renting to them. The result is many lost their jobs and housing. Despite some having spent years in Tunisia, many don't have work contracts or residency permits. Their ship is overcrowded and can take on water at any moment, but none agree to board the Coast Guard ship. It takes almost an hour for them to give in. At dawn, the team intercepts another vessel, filled with Tunisians this time. For most, this isn't their first attempt. Back at the Sfax port, the Coast Guard has picked up over 300 people. They'll be dropped off in the city as authorities don't have the means to detain them, and the cycle repeats the next day. In just the first three months of 2023, the Coast Guard arrested 14,000 migrants, five times more than in the same period last year. But by the time traffickers have loaded up their vessels with clients, it's already too late. Our operations stop numerous irregular migration efforts, dismantling of networks in houses where migrants are waiting to depart, or in forests close to the coast. Migrant transport networks are on the up in Sfax because as an industrial city, it already has the raw materials to build boats. Those coming from Africa know that they're going to Italy, that they're going to Europe, and that they have to cross the sea. That's why so many go, especially to Sfax and Mahdia, where you have the most craftsmen in boat and ship maintenance. Over the past two years, local authorities have noticed that black African migrants are also transporting people. They organize trips within their community and leave without a captain. With sub-Saharan Africans, they're in contact with Tunisians about methods from where they can bring raw materials to produce boats, as well as knowledge about routes, departure points which are closest to Europe, to Italy. More ships means more crossings and lower prices. Fares have crashed to half their usual going rate at only around 450 euros. But the boats are makeshift and dangerous. Over 100 people are thought to have drowned after several shipwrecks in recent weeks. The local morgue struggled to keep up with the numbers of dead bodies. <laughs> We are under-equipped, given the large numbers which exceed the hospital's capacity, which is about 35 to 40 corpses. So we need to have another alternative to put corpses in refrigerated conditions within standard norms. Last summer, a sudden influx of 100 cadavers forced the morgue to store bodies on the floor. The hospital fears it will happen again. The major difficulty now is burial. We need proposals and solutions so we can anticipate and prepare graves in advance so as not to be overburdened in case of a collective disaster, in case of a mass shipwreck. For the rare survivors, a brush with death hasn't dissuaded them from trying again. Lionel is from Cameroon. He prays for his friends who died in a shipwreck last March. He's the only survivor. He speaks anonymously because he still hopes to make the crossing.
On the water, we saw many boats, fishing boats, and I think Italian, who didn't help us despite the conditions on the sea. They didn't really care. We sank at night, and in the night, it's not easy to make it out. That's also what led many of us to die. There's agitation, fear and panic. He was saved by Tunisian fishermen after 15 hours in the water. In recent years, the shipwreck victims are mainly from other African countries, with less than a quarter coming from Tunisia. The death toll is expected to rise in the coming months, as those hopeful of making it to Italy try their luck during the warmer summer weather.